Today we're going to turn the Red Sea Nano into a rock flower tank. What's going on guys? Devin from Reef Dudes. Super excited. My order of rock flowers from Rubio's Corals just showed up. I went and just picked them up and ordered a ton of ultra rock flowers. So I'm excited to see these guys and get them in the tank. One of my projects for the next little while is going to be figuring out like spawning and breeding rock flower and enemies. And so with that, I want some really good stock to start with. So we'll see what kind of fire Rubio brought. I'm extremely excited to get these guys acclimated and check out all the different patterns and colors of them. Oh, look at that. Some of them already have some pretty crazy colors coming out. Cannot wait to see these guys all opened up. So everybody has been floating for about half an hour now, pretty much temperature acclimated. So I'm not, rock flowers are pretty hardy, so I'm not going to worry about acclimating the water parameters that should be close enough and we're going to get these guys onto the sand bed. So I had the flow off in the tank and I'm just going to turn out the bar head just to give the rock flowers a bit of time to settle and get their foot back into the ground. Some really nice pinstripes. Ooh, that's a nice one. That guy is super bright. War paint. That guy is nice, super nice. Ah, let go of me. There we go. So I've been researching a ton lately and talking to a bunch of people that breed them and spawn them and figure out the secrets. Now one thing that's super cool to do is use a UV flashlight to check out your tank at night. It's crazy the glow you get from the rock flowers and it actually makes it really easy to spot little ones because they really stand out and pop with the light. So definitely some fire expression of the UVs and check this out. Look on the rocks, that little tiny dot, that's a little baby that I found. Super duper stoked about that. That had been for my previous rock flowers may have spawned and yeah I guess one made it. Um, ultra ultra tiny. But I think there's hope, so hopefully keep this guy happy and he'll grow up to be an awesome little rock flower. So look at that, already got one and haven't even tried yet. But I'm super duper stoked for this and can't wait to have a whole tank just full of little baby rock flowers. I guess it's going to be super awesome. So it's been a couple of days now, all the flowers have started to settle in. It's kind of funny seeing some of them where they just literally like trample over top of each other. I feel bad for some of those flowers. Tons of these beauties, or even that guy's kind of hiding underneath. He's like bright pink and green, some beautiful rainbows. It's really funny how they do it. Now one actually really interesting thing that I noticed the first day was some of the like look-alike type of ones kind of grouped up together. Like if we look over here, we got a couple of the war paints and there are literally three of them all together. And over here, if you look, there's two of the green red rainbows kind of hiding in the shadow over here and they're both kind of grouped up together. And there's three different spots where I kind of noticed that. That was really kind of a funky something could be completely random, but it was kind of funky to see. It was still kind of funny that I added 20 rock flowers and the stand bed still seems pretty darn empty. It's kind of crazy, but again, a lot of them are fairly small still, and some of these are like dog piled, like there's three or four in that little pile right there. So that part's kind of crazy. Some of them, it's, oh, they almost open bigger at night than in the day on some of them. It's kind of weird. But I do have to give a big shout out to Rubio's Corals for picking out some wicked rock flowers for me. Definitely got some real gems in here. Now the one super cool thing is, my whole goal with these is to learn how to breed them. Get them to spawn and reproduce in the tank and kind of figure out the secrets for it. 
Got a bunch of different kind of live foods I'm going to try, you know, heard stuff, the moon cycles, all different stuff. So there'll be a lot of experimenting going on in the next little while with the rock flowers. So I picked up two more sexy shrimp kind of just before the rock flowers and they've been hanging out. They seem to hang out all together now, so that's pretty cool. They usually pick a nem or the same in the general kind of third of the tank at least. I hope you guys are as excited as I am about this project. I'm super stoked to try breeding these. Um, I know it can be a little bit trickier to get them to spawn. Some people say it just happens naturally on their own. Some actually try to do it. So it's a little bit of a mixed bag. But some of these guys are absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that zebra rainbow. Super cool. So if you guys are excited for it, you want to learn more, you want me to keep digging into the whole rock flower spawning thing, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And let me know. And if you guys have any questions, as, as always, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.